What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and I just wanted to uh, go into part two for the uh, four pillars for a dominating foundation. Uh, in the previous video we talked about uh, proactive mindset and what that's about a little bit and now we're going to talk about uh, the second part which is situational awareness and that's pretty much what it says. You know, just being aware of what's going on around you, being aware of the situation. <laughs> Excuse me. You know, just kind of being observant, understanding. You know what, what everything is. I'm starting to get the hiccups. I'm sorry. It, where people are at, what's going on. You know, <laughs> the bad thing is sometimes I go. You know, I might maybe go over a little bit overboard. I'm looking to see which way is going to be the best exit. You know, knowing how to, to get out of somewhere if something bad happens. And the big thing, you know, having. You know, lack of situational awareness, especially, you know, in combat is one of the, the leading causes to death and failure. And, I mean, it's the, the primary factor, you know, attributed to, you know, human accidents today. So being, just not being able aware of what's going on around you. I mean, this is what everybody's doing now. You know, I go and sit down at the, the mall when the wife and kids are shopping and I watch everybody and everybody is just or they're doing this or they've got it on speakerphone and they're not paying attention and they're screaming into the phone and not looking at what's going on around you know I'll be honest I'm guilty of it sometimes too you know running a business you want to be able to you know try to reply as quickly as possible when you've got customers emailing or calling or texting or whatnot so I'm, I'm a little bit guilty of it as well, but not as much as what I see going on in the world today. And not even in the mall, just out in the grocery store or in the convenience store, you get people coming in or they've got it in, in one hand while they're doing their shopping and text messaging and shopping. You know, you need to be able to put that thing down sometimes and watch what's going on around you because bad people will see that and that's when bad things can happen, like getting robbed, getting kidnapped, you know, kids getting kidnapped. You got to be aware of what's going on around you, and go with you know your gut. If you feel something's not right, then don't go there. You know, if you're walking back to your car and there's weird cars parked around it, or there's a van or another car parked right up next to yours, if, if something feels off about it. Go back, get security, call the cops if you don't feel comfortable, you know. Most people would just go walking up to the car, text messaging, let everybody know they're on their way home, and something bad ends up happening. You've got to be aware of what's going on around you. I, I can't stress that enough. That, that's the key thing when it comes to situational awareness is just being aware of what's going on around you. You know, a lot of times even when I go out, you know, I might walk maybe a step or two behind my family just so I can watch and see, you know, what's going on. Because unfortunately, the majority of the time, they're not being aware of what's going on around them. They're down in their phone, text messaging. So please just make sure you're aware of, you know, what's going on, you know, around you. And, and the big thing, I guess, with, with situational awareness is, you know, being aware of what's going on you know, around you to understand how the information and events, you know, actions and goals are all going to be impacted from, from all that. So you just need to be aware of what's going on around you. If you're not aware, then that's when bad things are going to happen. So please make sure you put the phone down. Don't be doing this all the time. If this is something you've got to do, step off to the side somewhere and Get it done real quick, then go about your business. But if you continue to move around and do that, that's a lot of times when people are going to try to do bad things. So I hope this is, you know, continuing to help everyone out. Uh, please continue to comment. You know, let's have some open discussion around this. Like, share, subscribe, and continue to uh, support the page. And thanks for uh, all the subscribers so far and all the support that we have had. I hope these uh, videos are helping everyone out. And uh, like I always say, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, 
you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.